Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Le Plata. Le Plata. Le Plata. Le Plata. Alright. So everyone, we are back here in another episode today where we have, well, for one, we have a lot of different things happening in China right now. We have China completely doing the warring states period, which could be a beneficial thing to us if we can actually, inf oh, we can actually influence these guys. Sweet. Okay. So that means we have to choose which state do we want to kind of be our little puppet here. Hmm. Who's going to be our little puppet? Who's going to be our little puppet? Hmm. Probably should choose the most advanced one. Well, I probably would want... Actually, can I get this guy right here? This this big boy? Nah, he's too big. He only has 49 million population. Alright, well. I'm going to choose like the biggest population and the biggest... Hmm. Okay, so the gun... Guns on Clink is the one I think I'm going to influence to be my little buddy. Because, you know what, while we have the opportunity to influence and to make China more of our friend, let's take this opportunity, okay? Let's let's jump on this opportunity, people. Because this is only going to come around like once every couple years, so yeah. Also, I noticed something really, really interesting when I was looking at the Diplomatics tab. Apparently, Austria became the number one power in the world. And you know how they became the number one power in the world? They have a ton of beeping prestige. I mean, it's not because they have good industry, because we beat them in industry. It's not because they have a good military, because even with the fact that we have cut down military power, we're still bigger than them. I mean, they really stink at military power. No, it's because they have a massive amount of prestige. So when I say this, and I truly mean this, they got if they ever do make a Victoria 3, which I'm really hoping they do, they really gotta fix that prestige issue because seriously, prestige means absolutely nothing in this game. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's continue on as my population explodes to absurd levels. Oh yeah, we still got communists. Uh, clamp down, yeah. I completely forgot that we still got communists in our country. And you know what, just for the time being, I don't think I'm going to... Uh, decrease my taxes until until I'm out of this little rut of having to deal with the entire world I don't think I'm gonna do that um also let's see let's see let's see this is for the best the democracy yay oh but you know what I could spend my money on is quickly upgrading all of my uh, well forts which considering that we don't have much to do right now I don't think I really have to cut away for this Yes, we shall attend. Yay. Um, but yeah. So back, so guys, I was also wondering to kind of get an update about the, um, well, I just wanted to give kind of an update about what I want to do about the uh, Victoria 2 video, I was, Victoria 3 video I was thinking of, and I've also given it some thought, and I think I will do a video about it, but I'll do it much more closer to, like, H HOI4's, like, release, because right now, all we can really do as fans is just speculate what the next one's gonna- Oh, what? Wait, somebody's actually- What? You actually became a state? <gasps> Yay! Oh my goodness, I just got a state out of this place! Shoot. You know that means I probably can't convert you back to original- Oh no. Oh no, okay, well. Good job for you to becoming my own little state, so... That means Benin. Benin, you have officially added yourself into my elitist class of being cool. And let's see, how much of the population are mine? 1.1 a bazillion. And 9.9 .9 are Patinans. So about 10% of the entire population around here is about my culture. And it has about a decent amount of people. So they can actually build a decent, you know, industry over here. What can they build? Anyways, milk, milk, and milk. Okay. Okay, well, that's good. And let's see, over here, how would this... Wow, this is actually pretty, this is already pretty, hmm. You know, this, Africa might actually become an actual, like, you know, statehood country over here. I mean, I was just going to use it to exploit its resources, but, wow, this might actually become its own, its own little place for me. That's weird, it's like, it's like, it becomes my, it becomes what, what Alaska became to United States. This is going to be like my Alaska, except, well, it's in Africa, and it's, Way, way, way hotter in there. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, wow. I really didn't think I'd ever be able to, like, convert those states. Or get those to actual states. That's kind of pretty awesome. 
Let's see. Seems like there's some internal warring going on already. Wow. Yeah, Guns on Clink is like all around me. We should probably... I really do like these guys. We should probably ally with them. Hopefully we can get these guys to be... At least protected. I want to make sure these guys are protected against the uh, other world powers. Let's see. Am I influencing? We have zero influence with these guys. Dang it. They must have gotten too big. Yep. Ah, dang it. Okay. And let's see. What else do we have to do for our current technology? Well, not really much, actually. <laughs> we basically don't have very much to te technologically advance anymore because we're basically at the end of the game. Oh, that's kind of sad. We're at the end of the game, guys. We're almost done. And I don't want this to end. Oh, shoot. An alliance, but it better not be the United States. Oh, but here? Yeah, sure, you can break my alliance. I don't care. <laughs> uh, it's like, but here broke your alliance. Okay. Does that have any negative impact on me? Not really, sir. Oh, okay, then carry on. Oh, my goodness, Germany, what? Oh. Germany just became a fascist dictatorship, didn't they? Like, they officially became an all-out fascist dictatorship. I mean, before they had the fascist country in power, I guess, legally speaking, because they were technically a democracy, but now they have the fascist in power. That's not good. And now we got the proletarians. So, <laughs> so really, I'm, I'm setting up for, like, a really bad World War II scenario right now. We have... The Eastern Bloc right here, the Eastern Bloc, we had the Fascist, and we have the French. Oh, goodness gracious, French, you are not gonna like... <laughs> oh, I don't know why I find this so funny. Okay. Michelle is having rebellion problems. Sadly, I will not, if, if it's severe enough, I will not be able to do much about it because I don't have an army to actually refuel. Let's see. Ah, uh, nah, that is nothing. Oh, and they're actually expanding. Wait, are they? No, they aren't. Damn. Okay. I thought you guys were actually expanding there for a second. I was like, yay, my little vessel guys are expanding. And they told me they didn't. Damn. Okay. Let's see. And then Gunzai has already become too big for me to, like, individually. Man, that stinks. Let's see. Well, actually, could I do it? Could I still influence them? No. They're just way too big now. Damn. Okay, well, anyways, if I was to vote for anyone in China to become the new China, I'm voting for Gunzai Clink. Because I don't really like um, Anahali Clink because they're like, right next to us in terms of our little ports. And I like our little port right over here. So, yeah. Let's hope they don't become big enough and realize, hey, we should go attack the uh, Le Platians because they have a weak army right now. Okay. And denounce the league. Uh, yes, seriously, denounce the league. I'm not going to let you guys to ruin my colonialism. Apparently, colonialism is really good. Okay. War and dimitaries are almost done, guys. We have... How much more longer? Okay. August. Okay, we have until August. That means I'm not going to increase taxes anymore because I think... I have a huge, gigantic storeroom, so I, I don't really need to do anything. But, yeah. And in terms of stuff, I have to notice... Man, Germany becoming fascist. That's so... Yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, let's just increase relationships with our Yugoslavian brethren, who are also communists, who I'm going to try to influence to become more like me. And, yeah. This world, the world we have shaped up to be in the future, in this world, has definitely turned out very weird. Uh, the restoration of the Philippines. The Democrats from the Philippines are quietly approached us, appealing for us to support and restore a lot of Okay, what do I have to do? Tell them we, sh we shall consider it. Free allied core causes Belai on Spain. Okay. So, I get free core causes Belay against Spain. Who are they mainly allied with? They are mainly allied with, um, with, uh, those guys. So, really, and I'm not really friends with, with Spain, so, forced disarmament, transfer of provinces. Okay. Okay, you know what, we, you know, we could actually do this. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's, <laughs> you know, going to war against Spain... Taking back and restoring a Philippines land that wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, seriously, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I kind of like it. So, let's see. How long am I keeping this uh, War Causes Belai? Because I want to make sure I use it. 1830. Good. Okay. 
So I can use it in 1830, which means I honestly have a ton of time to do it. Also, apparently I'm starting to get kicked out of India, which doth stink. Also, apparently I am also have influence in Switzerland. I forget that sometimes. I don't know why I have influence in Switzerland right now, but I do. What the heck? By the way, what does Switzerland even produce right now? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, I must have gotten the economy back in order. Oh my goodness, okay. Alright, everyone, we only have a couple more days of war dimitaries. And the memory, Bullerius, your lady! What? The growth of our colonies You guys can read this if you want to, but basically it comes down to, and the memory lives on, and we get prestige. Hooray! We got militant socialist. Wow, that took... Wow, I'm surprised. I actually took a really long time for them to actually do this. Okay, so... I think we're almost officially done. We have a literally about one more month, guys. Woohoo! Go strong economy for keeping us afloat. Oh my goodness, yes, we're almost done. And apparently, you guys also have problems, but I didn't even really consider you guys even a part of my nation for a very long time. In fact, I still don't consider you guys a part of my nation. You just somehow became a part of my sphere for some reason, which is really weird because I didn't really influence you that good. So it's like, oh, what? Where did you guys get over here? Okay, we're our buddies. Okay, it seems like there's some kind of national crisis. Uh, wait, incidents in Germany. A violent incident has occurred at one of our foreign embassies in Berlin, spurned by the Germans' resentment towards the plot and our ideology. What? Germany? But, 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 wait, 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 what? Doesn't make any sense. Aw. Germany, when did you start to hate us? Damn, that means almost everyone in Europe hates me now. Uh, does everyone hate America? Everyone hates America too. Okay, everyone in the world, everyone in Europe hates America. Wow. That makes me feel really loved right there. Everyone in, in Europe hates America and everyone in America hates Europe. Okay, this is a mutual relationship I can agree on. Okay, so anyways, what are we going to do? Not good enough. I gained some type of causes but I humiliate. Or, that will do. That will have to do. Because I don't really... Wait, the response is unfortunate. Uh, yeah. You know what? Two infamy is not that bad. I don't really care about the reduction of prestige. Romania. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, you want to go? You want to go? Who's going to support? Oh, France. Dang it. Yay! <laughs> I instantly get, I instantly get Austria in this. Scandinavia's gonna choose me. Wow, Scandinavia loves me a lot more than they love France. Okay, and acquire Burnett. That's all I want, I guess. Okay, so I'm guessing that my little Romanian guys are gonna acquire, like, this little part. Eh. I, I don't see how that's really... Oh, wait, holy moly, we just lost our war in Demetrius, which means now we can start decreasing our economy to being actual, like, 50% levels. Oh my goodness, that means that people no longer have to pay me almost 60% of their income, people. Yay! I love when that happens. It makes me feel so happy. Okay, and that means what else we can also do is also start building back up our military. Okay, let's start doing that. Oh my goodness, look at all the troops we can build. Oh, it's like a great day for me right now. Okay, so we could do this in mass production, which I think I'm going to do. 17, no, no, no. Let's delete a lot of these guys. Let's go. Let's see. We have already one tank built. That means that's already covering our butts a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go with eight units. Eight units. So eight unit. We're gonna decrease that. Two. Get that down. Get this. Get this up. Two. All right. And then we need some. I think if I remember correctly, t -t 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 tanks replace. Tanks replace. Engineers, so we're gonna need two tanks right here, two tanks, all right, and then airplanes. They replace horsemen, so we're going to have to. It's it's either it's either they it's either tanks replace horsemen and airplanes replace um engineers or engineers replace horsemen and it's the other way around. Just flip those two. It's one of those two. So either way, I'm gonna need about two tanks and two of the everything. So let's see, let's get some airplanes in our army. And then we need some artillery, which this is one of the stupidest things ever is the fact that artillery is like, okay. So we need about the same amount. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we only need six because that's all we would really be able to afford. Yep. Okay. That's our first new army, people. Okay, and let's see. Can we also build some new colonial armies, too? A little bit. A little bit. You know, let's build a little tiny colonial army. Wait, let me scoot down so I can actually see what I'm building. Yes. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, four. Alright. One. Two. Okay. You know, actually, I think I'm going to delete one of these. Put, like, one of these guys in. Okay. Delete. Put in one of these guys. And put in one of these guys. Okay. I think that should be a balanced army right there. And we are instantly spending as much as we can to rebuild our armies. Yes. Okay. Also in the world, we have to start looking at our factory production. Let's see. Is any kind of craftsman not working? No. Good. Good. Okay. And apparently... Proposed solution. Uh, they would, they would accept this offer. Yay! Oh yeah, I just won an internal crisis, everyone. Woohoo! Woohoo! That means Romania. Oh, oops. Uh, oops. I think I just expanded the realm. Wait, wait. What? Wait a minute. I just thought of something, guys. Um, oops. I think I just gave Bennett more land of Romania. That I was supposed to. Oops. That's why. Okay, I was wondering why Australia was Austria was supporting me. That's the reason. Is because I think I just gave them gave them world power. Declare it illegal, or it doesn't really matter at this point. <laughs> we have literally ten years left. I mean, there's not really much. Oh, shit. who's who's attacking you? Okay, you're getting a conquest. Who's attacking you? Austria? What? Guys, acquire Bennett. Oh, you know... Okay, Romania, you kind of screwed yourself in this one, okay? I don't really... I didn't really want to fight you in this, but... I'm not really backing you up because, for one, I don't want to fight an international war when I'm just trying to build back up my military. Also, I'm going to move this tank right here because we need to... Wait, can I move it to over here? Is this all me good right now? Let's see. Yay! Yay! More elections! More technology! Okay, let's see. We got completely maxed out our indus industry. We can also get some more cultural text. So I'll get the behavioralism because that helps us out. Let's see. Do we have our cannons in this one? No, we don't. We can actually get our cannons. This one actually does need cannons. So, let's see. Divide up here. Go down here. Take out one engineer. Delete him. And there we go. We have our one tank unit. There we go. Alright, back over here in our uh, Chinese land. Okay, so I'm not sh quite sure who's winning the war right now. I'm just going to look at the uh, education. Oh, wow, they're against... Oh, wow, Guns on Clink. Oh, wow, he actually won. Whoa, Guns on Clink, you guys are... Okay, Guns on Clink. Okay, um, Diplomatic Games, is... that's only us to blame. Yeah, you know what? Sure, that's only us to blame. Let them cut. Wow, the Germans are really trying to... I, I don't know what I did to the Germans, but they're really trying to... Oh my goodness, yes! Okay, so... Everyone, I'm... S wow, I'm slowly starting to convert all my African provinces to actual states. That's making me... Really happy here. Alright, if I had actually conquered this part of... Stuff, maybe I would be able to do more. Alright, let's just... Yeah, let's just... You know, let's just keep going down this. I could, like, I, I highly think we could actually convert all this to actually my land. And that's actually pretty good land down there, too, for population-wise. And so you could actually build factories. Huh. And it seems like we have the two biggest powers right now in China going at it. We have our personal backers, the Gunzai Clique, going at it with the, um, anti eye Clink. Which, uh, I, I'm not sure if they could actually beat them. I'm pretty sure this is going to be more of a slaughter than anything. Um, they both have the goal of unite the nation. So whoever's going to win this is basically going to become New China. Which is a scary thought now that I think about it. Because if they become New China, then we just... Uh, well, I'm going to say, say there's no gods because that's what we've been going with for hundreds of years. And John Poor, man. John Poor. Oh, man. Now, if, if, still, if the Sia Empire 
would actually conquer all of Jonpur. I think you could actually create a big nation right here. Discredited, of course. <laughs> okay. And with that, everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of Awesomeness where the world is turning out very differently than anyone had ever expected it to turn out. I'm guaranteeing not one. Oh, wow. Well, many of you guys got squished. Okay. I'm guaranteeing no one thought this world would turn out like this, and neither did I. I I'm completely aghast about what has our world turned into, and yeah, I can't wait to see what happens in the future. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.